Nothing different. Nothing different. Um, just a great week of practice. Get great week of preparation. Um, up front did a great job. Came in there focused, ready to dominate, and, they, and we did that. Um, you know, it started off kind of slow, which you should expect. You know, you just can't go out there and just come away bust, not running like that. You know, it takes time to get a feel of the game. Austin did a great job picking up tempo, and that definitely uh, helped me and Dominic Slow for some big runs. Your third 100 yard gain uh, as a running back. Uh, does that gain a little more confidence for you now that you're heading more towards uh, than uh, the middle of the season? Yeah, with every carry, uh, you definitely build a confidence, especially when you get positive yardage. Um, when those guys start believing in you, see you break off runs and the O-line run down the field, you patch on the helmet right. and, and uh, drop back with you to the huddle, just it keeps the motivation going. And uh, and it definitely yeah, it definitely does build confidence. And uh, uh, I'm happy that uh, I've had my uh, third hundred yard game, you know, very surprised about it, but it definitely it will come. Uh, we knew it was gonna come, it just, uh, yeah, I just didn't know when, and uh, I'm happy it came Saturday in a big win. When you look back at the tape, what do you, you know, what do you see? What do you realize? You know, we started doing little things. I spoke before the game to the running back. Said that Coach Graham didn't have to say much. We were going to focus on little things. The big plays we can make, we all can make those guys. The big make those plays. That's why we're here at Florida State. We're all capable of making big time plays and, and big time games. But the little things we haven't been doing so much. You know, make sure our steps are right. Make sure our eyes are in the right place. Make sure we're blocking the right guys. Things like that. And uh, we did that Saturday, and I think that really helped us spring forward and come back and win that game. Coach Fisher said today to the media that he feels that you guys are getting better and better each game. Do you see that as well? Most definitely. I think focus from the young guys are definitely try, uh, are, is turning up. Um, they're definitely starting to key in on those small things that the older guys are definitely um, we're, we're, we're aware of. We've been here four or five years now. We know what it takes to win a national championship, win an ACC championship twice. Um, we know what it takes to win, win week in and week out. And it starts in practice. And it starts with little things. Uh, and like I said before, big plays, we all can make those. That's why we're here. It's going to take for everybody, uh, scout team, young guys, sophomores, everybody everybody to really step up and start really keying in on things and um, you know it's going to help us progress forward. Every game has been a dogfight pretty much other than the Citadel game. You know, what does that do for this team moving forward? Um, we know how to fight. It proves that we know how to fight. We know what we're fighting for. We fight for each other. Um, you know, it's, it's going to be a dogfight. We're the number one team in the country. Uh, te teams are going to give us their A game week in and week out. They're going to prepare for us differently. They're going to uh, they're going to be more mentally focused when they're at practice. They're going to do everything they can to make sure they knock off that number one team in the country. They're going to do everything they can to make sure they, they put their best effort for. And, and a lot of guys are going to play differently because they're playing against the top team in the country. Everybody's watching watching for the state play. So of course you go out there and have a good game, other people are going to see it. So we just got to keep going out, preparing the way we've been preparing, practice perfect, make a uh, perfect play, and coaches preach that all the time. So we have to do that again this week against Wake Forest. Statistically wise, Wake Forest has the best defense that you've seen on paper. What do they do well? Um, they're disciplined. Very disciplined. Um, you know, you, you always hear about Wake Forest not having the greatest athletes, but a lot of guys from Florida actually play uh, at Wake Forest. Uh, I know uh, Noel, who's from who's from Pahokee, who we, uh, Florida State recruited. I remember playing against him and with him in a 7-on-7 in high school. A great corner, very fast, athletic, very smart. Makes a lot of plays for those guys uh, as, a, as a captain, a senior on their team. Um, I, I know that for sure, but they, they, they're going to play hard. They're going to play hard, always have played hard. Played hard last year when we played there. Um, you know, just, I'm preparing for a dogfight again, you know. You always have to prepare for a team's going to give you their best, and they're going to give us their best. What do you guys have to do in order to be successful against that defense? Little things. The small things. The big things, like I said, like we, we can make the big plays. You've seen it week in and week out. We can make the big plays when it's time to make it. We just have to start fast and finish fast. You said that everybody, every game is going to be a dogfight. Is that going to take a toll at some point? Um, what I, what I meant by that is, you know, we have to prepare for a dogfight, you know. Every team, like I said, every team's going to give it the, their best game. So you never know. They're going to give us, they're going to throw their punches, they're going to swing hard, they're going to come out there with everything they have. We have to be prepared for it. We have to be able to roll with the punches, and when we get knocked down, get back up and keep fighting. And we've been doing that week in and week out. You're sitting in for Bobo Wilson, so i got to ask you about him. How much does this help the offense for him to really get going? A lot, a lot. He, he's a very explosive guy. Kick return, punt return. Uh, catching the ball, he's a very, very explosive guy. Very proud of him having two uh, two touchdown catches. Um, he he he's a great kid. You know, works hard in practice, we, uh, day in and day out. Uh, you know, he's he's on top of it. I just hope he just, he keeps going for him. And lastly, what does it take to be a good slot receiver? What? Um, yeah, I have to ask Rashad. You know, I really don't, I don't get I don't get to spend too much time with receivers, but I can only imagine uh, the focus. You don't have to block. You know, coming in blocking those linebackers, cracking those linebackers, and not being the biggest guy on the team. You know, having to go in there and really hit those guys and and, and take a lot of wear and tear running the inside routes. I can guarantee it takes a lot of work. But he's doing a great job. I'm very proud of him, and I want to say congratulations to him.